the soloing part for this uh, afro so, so the solo is not hard it's not a one a one a one string or a one note solo soloing the one that mm -mm, this one is a two note solo This one is what we call a second rhythm solo. A second rhythm solo, a second rhythm uh, is a rhythm whereby a uh, solo and a rhythm is played at the same time all together. That means we have a first rhythm, a second rhythm and a third rhythm. And so on and so forth. Okay? A fourth rhythm, a fourth rhythm maybe, but a first, a second and a third. Okay? First rhythm na kwa too simple. A first rhythm ainanga solo. A first rhythm does not have a solo. A second rhythm is the one that has a solo. That means you So, second rhythm it's combined is a combination of a rhythm and a solo. Mostly, this solo can be played in a one note solo. Or in a two note solo. Sorry. Why change the key or what? Uh. So there is a two note soloing and there is a one note soloing, okay? And there is a one note soloing. Right, so this solo is just simple. I will show you the progression for which they have used in playing a flow solo. Okay, so number one, I'm going to show you the progression. We are just still here. We are still here in our five chord progression, four chord progression, whichever way you call it. We are still here in the key of G. All right, we are still here. So what we will do for us to come and enter in this solo is this is what you do when you are playing. Anytime you will play a key like this one, anytime you touch it, even if it is here, here going like this, going like this. What I'm going to show you still applies on any part of the guitar or any part of the fretboard that you are playing on. So long as you are in this position. You see the position I'm playing? That position. Atakama ni wapi. So, for you to enter down there, you are going to follow this procedure. You'll just come and take your first finger. I'll show you how to enter here and how to come out of here. How to come from this part to down there and then you start moving downwards using those two strings. Okay. So the first step you will do, take your first finger on the seventh fret. This is the seventh fret. Take your first finger, place it on the first string. All right. After that, you are all now good to go. Then just remove these ones. Okay. You see the mathematics, the simple mathematics there. Huh? Let's go back again and let me show you. Now when you want to play the second strings, these two strings are not that important. Okay, You can just remove them. But before removing them, you'll just come and take your first finger. Just take your first finger, place it on the first string. Okay. When she comes back, it will be like this. So, place it in the first string. Remove these ones. You are left with the 
second finger and now your first finger is playing the first string your second finger is playing the second string so when you are holding this position or playing the, when you are playing this position your second finger doesn't go anywhere it just remains there and then and now you are now you have entered that pattern now you have entered that pattern now see and if you are not comfortable playing it this way I know some of you guys always play it like this okay it's just the same thing like this but it's like this okay so for me I play it like this I can play it like this or like this so back to the lesson so now when you have entered here when you have entered here I know this is a lesson for another time so I don't want to waste time when you have entered here now you are going to play it like a pattern you see from here where your second finger is from we are in the seventh fret so the eighth fret the ninth fret the tenth fret so my first finger is going to come where my finger my first finger is going to go to the eighth fret but still first string my first finger will move to the eighth fret but still first string my second finger will move to the ninth tenth fret second string okay and then the same thing i will do it like that this is the tenth string right so my first finger will move will move to the tenth string but first string my second finger is still here so the second finger will move to the 12th string right second 12th fret second string like that never forget where you, you came from okay so so moving on we started while closing and then we opened and then we open now we will close okay next we'll go to the 13th fret my first finger will go to the 13th fret which is this one my second finger will move to the 15th fret all right no 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 uh, my second finger will move to the 13th fret th 13th fret my first finger will come my first finger will go to the 12th fret first string <clears throat> my second finger will go to the 13th fret second string right because we are closing with we closed we opened we opened we closed then we close again so 14th fret first finger goes to the 14th fret first string my second my second finger is still where it was here okay so my second finger always also goes to the 15th fret second string this is a video i'm going quickly because this is a video you will just understand it while you are while you are replaying it or fast forwarding it or slowing it down so 15th fret like that so we closed twice we closed we closed we open here we open okay so when you are here you can just do this but not, that is not what we are learning so we open so we go back the way we came you close you close you open you open you close so this is the formula close open twice then close twice then open twice open you can open twice yes then close once when you close once when you close one somewhere here somewhere here it's the same as this one so when you close it once you open it twice you close once then you gain you open twice okay you open you close you open you open you close you close you open you open you close you open you open you close you close you open you open so it repeats itself so going backwards up to here so that's where up on the window so going back 
okay so now entering that mode you'll just take your first finger place it on the third string of the seventh fret you take your fourth finger place it on the fourth string of the um, ninth fret and your pinky on the tenth fret fifth string so so you are back coming out you just take it like that you remove this one and you are left with that one okay you can use this one going going that way okay so you can just open twice and you close and you close and and you close or and and you come back to your key. but that one is a lesson for another time if you have any question about that i'll show you moving 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 with that pattern if you have any question concerning that just uh, comment i'll do a tutorial for that okay but for now the song will go that way okay now let's begin so you will pluck it like this Here I'll not explain much, so I'll just be plucking and you'll be doing it by yourself. So, so let's start. Then we will jump to the third one. So So Afro Progression yung mishika venilu wanyesha so Kurudia na yunda rudia marama ubundio Uone I'll repeat it as much as I can so that you can see what I'm doing It starts like that So So let's make let us make some sense so That one needs speed. Have you gotten that one? So, remember what I've shown you. So, we come here and then we do. So, do it with me. Close. Open, open. And then you, then. slide okay and then you slide and then you slide like that so have you understood it Have we gotten it? I'm repeating it for you to see. Alafu kisha shika hiyo. Sasa unaleta. Oh, 
I want us to combine everything now. So, ah, sorry. Again. Alright, so just watch the way I'm plucking and count how many times I'm plucking. Plucking, pluck two, one, pluck the second string and the first string. So, hope you've gotten that one. Cindy, hope you've gotten that one. Then, follow what I've shown you. Follow what I've shown you so that you don't get lost. This is what we were using. Then, when we reach here, there is a G, there is a key of G here. But Saudi ko ju sana yo kuteviake ko hai sana. So, So you just play. So you'll play. And then you'll play. Do you see potato? This one is our first. Oh no, this one is a one chord progression. Similarly, mali one chord progression in a quag. Pale kwa first part and to pale, 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 pale. Sindio, do si pote so. So, so you'll plug. I don't want this, uh, this part to go longer than 20 minutes. So, so you plug. We are just using the same thing. There is nothing new here. So that is what I'm following. Okay, that is what I'm following. So you can plug it up, down. Or you can pluck it, vice versa, down, up. So, so, then close, close, and then open, open, close. Let us repeat. Turn up. So. So, turn up. One more time. So let's combine. So, 
I hope you've understood that part. So we are moving on to the next part.